Alright, to get NES ROMs or games on your iPod, of course, you'll need a jailbroken one. So once you have that, go to Installer, and you're going to need to download the NES emulator if you haven't already done that before. It should be under Games. Just scroll down to that, and NES. Download it, or install it. Alright, and there it is. So once you have that on your iPod, just set aside for now. And you're going to need to SSH into your iPod using whichever program you like. You can either use WinSCP or QFT Pro or any other one like that. If you don't know how to SSH into your iPod already, um, I'll make a video about how to do that. I should have probably made a video of that before this one, but I had a request on how to add games to your iPod. So just log into your, to your iPod. And once you come to this screen, you should click Media, double click it, and you're going to need to add a new folder called ROMs. The R and the O and the M are all capitalized, and the X is lowercase. ROMs. And you should see something like this. So then double click that one, and you're going to need to add a new folder inside of that one called NES. All three letters of those are capitalized. So just click OK. You should see another folder like that. OK, just minimize the screen for now because you'll need it. And then you're going to need to go to a website. I like to go to the oldcomputer.com. It has a whole bunch of NES ROMs for your iPod. So just look through them and find one that you want to download. Once you find one, I'm going to use Super Mario Bros. Just click it and save it to your computer. Shouldn't take very long at all. So just close out of that. And you're going to need a program to extract this file. I use WinZip. So just right click it and click extract here and you should see a folder called whatever the file is that you downloaded. So mine says Super Mario Bros. Brothers. And then inside that folder you should see a .nes file. This is the one you want to bring over to your iPod so just click it and drag it into your NES folder and then copy it shouldn't take that long and now you should see a mario.nes file so just minimize that and let's go back to our iPod and now it should work yes so then it'll find the file that you just put in there and mine's Mario. So just click it and click start new game. And then you should see your game. Works pretty well. Okay, that's it. I hope I helped you get NES games on your iPod.